Okay, everybody. This this is pretty good. This is funny. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a better person. Turns out, PlayStation has just has just been cut down. <laughs> they have just they've been financially castrated or at least they've been castrated in a sense of product. Right now what's going on here? You've got Microsoft buys Bethesda, creator of Doom, Fallout, Elder Scrolls and Quake. It says here it's an arrow to the knee for of PlayStation fans. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm not buying the PlayStation 5. I've made this commitment already. Me and the Wences have talked about it. We're both gamers. We both play our, our types of video games. She's more into the Monster Hunter questing kind of kind of games. I'm more into the building, survival, and shoot 'em ups. And we both like first person shooters. And we decided this year we're not gonna buy a PlayStation. I've bought PlayStation since the PlayStation 1 came out, all the way up to the PlayStation 4. And this time around, we, we looked at the PlayStation 5, we looked at the censorship, and we decided, you know, we, we can't do... What the fuck is that? We can't do... Um, we, we, basically, we don't want to... We don't want to buy another console and have to sit there and watch as the games get censored uh, we heard that there were that there were mods coming to Skyrim, and that that didn't materialize. It materialized in neutered mods. Uh, every so often, I'll get back on Skyrim to see what mods are there, and it's like, ah, man, we can't get the good stuff. Uh, even she mentions she can't get really good outfits. She doesn't like the armors that are there. She's like, they're so covering. They're so ridiculous. It doesn't feel fantasy ish, uh, in her opinion. She said, and I can't make characters look really sexy. She said, I can't make a really beautiful, gorgeous character. I have to sit there and worry with the game's pathetic character creation system when I could have gotten a modded character creation system. And she watches other people play games that are modded, and she just, she'd rather have the modded games. By the way, continuing on. PlayStation fanboys like to say the Xbox doesn't have enough exclusive games. Well, now, the Xbox will have games. Early Monday, Microsoft announced that it is acquiring the parent company of Bethesda Softworks, the publisher behind iconic gaming franchises like Doom, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Quake, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, Prey, and more for $7.5 billion. Yeah, they, they pretty much just walked in there to one of the biggest exclusive game companies of PlayStation and just cut them off at the knees. I wonder, I wonder right now, is... Um, is giving the finger to the Japanese game companies, is that working out real well for you, PlayStation? Acted like you didn't need those gaming companies over in Japan. That was the thing that got people onto PlayStation was you could get, you know, Japanese games. You get the really cool RPGs, the really good games. Japan's coming in there, even the even the, the most minor of panty shots. To give you a difference, uh, an understanding of the difference between PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 era, PlayStation 3... You had Elder Scrolls, which was nothing but panty shots. And I enjoyed that game. Or not Elder Scrolls. It wasn't Elder Scrolls. It was Soul Calibur. You had Soul Calibur, which was nothing but panty shots all the time throughout the game. I mean, the whole time you're playing a two-person fighter, you're getting panty shots all the time. Really good-looking chicks. Mortal Kombat, same thing. You know, awesome, sexy-looking chicks. Look at it now. Soul Calibur... Still pretty much the same. Mortal Kombat, eh, all, every chick is wearing a damn bodysuit with padding. I mean, it's like they're trying to be bulletproof for some reason, and it doesn't make much of a it doesn't make much sense. I mean, there, there's a reason the 300 was such a great movie. All right, it was a bunch of buff dudes going out there with leather underwear on, kicking the shit out of an entire army for several weeks straight. All right, people loved that idea. Because these guys were so badass, they didn't need a whole lot of armor. They just they needed a shield, greaves, a sword, and a helmet, and they maybe a spear. And they pretty much just crapped on every army that was going after them. A thousand nations, my ass. Anyway, it's it's amazing though that PlayStation has gone in there. They've attacked their original fan base of 
Japanese gamers. They've censored. They went in and they censored uh, Final Fantasy VII. They reduced Tifa's boob size. Uh, they also gave her spanks. Uh, not even, actually, no, they didn't even give her spanks. They gave her some sort of fitness boxers or some nonsense, and then tried to turn around and say, "Oh, see that? That's great." Uh, I was really looking for those Tifa panty shots. Y'all just kind of lost me there. Then they go in, and I believe One Piece comes out, and there, there's been massive censorship on that, and everyone's just like, okay, what? why? Like, a, a damned adult is probably buying this game. You you have a you have a rating on the back of the game. If the kid gets a hold of it, it's because the parent didn't do their due, gil- due diligence. Okay? There's... It's kind of like sitting there trying to go after a porn company for a child getting a porn mag and then finding out later the mom bought the porn mag for him. You don't. You suddenly stop getting mad at, at the XXX company that made the porn mag. You know, busty ladies did, put the porn mag out there. You're mad at them. Oh, this kid saw a porn mag. And then you find out later, well, mom bought the porn mag for the kid. Wait a minute. Why didn't mom stop this before it got to this point? You're a bad mom. This is the problem with PlayStation. PlayStation has this mentality now that they've got to censor everything to protect themselves. When in reality, no, you don't. You don't. You just got to do it properly. Do it right. Anyway, that's a heck of a birthday present for Xbox Series X, the next-gen console that lands in November 10. Pre-orders for the Xbox Series X open tomorrow. It'll probably put your PC to shame. I doubt that. <laughs> it's it's going to have to... The Xbox X is going to have to... To put the PC to shame, it's going to have to be a PC tower that you can upgrade over time. That and, and make it all affordable. Just a baseline package of a PC made by a console company like Xbox and just say, okay, this is what we're doing. If you want to increase the capabilities of it, just unscrew the back of it and put it in okay just just pull out the ram cards put in put in new memory new uh graphics cards things like that you can upgrade it to what you want i would love to see a baseline a console come out as a baseline computer that you can modify yourself that in my opinion would sell but going on while playstation enthusiasts should be worried about the f- about the future of those franchises on their console of choice PC faithful shouldn't sweat the acquisition. Yeah, you know why? Because PC doesn't give a crap. PC gamers have gone out there, and I and since then I've been watching every game that I've wanted to play, every game I've ever wanted to mess with, and I've got guys that have been doing that I know that have been trying to do gaming channels on PlayStation, and unless it's a play, they always say the same thing. Unless it's a PlayStation exclusive, you're not going to get the good games. You're not going to get the viewership. Take Ark and Conan Exiles, okay? Both those games came out on PC. By the time PlayStation gets those games, fuck, every video that needs to be made about the system, about the game has been made. Everyone knows where to get keratin. Everyone knows where to get paste. You can get on a PC. You can go look at any any person that's done uh, Frankie on PC. Uh, what is it? Nerd Parade? Nerd Parade does it on PC. He's got all these video tutorials on how to build hardened bases and everything. They've, they've done it. They've done it already. Uh, not only that, if you're going to do something like Skyrim back in the day when Skyrim streams were massive, people were modding the shit out of Skyrim. You know, I mean, PlayStation got a hold of it and they're like, oh yeah, you know, they're doing pretty good. And then PC modders come out. They put a chick on there, you know, with with absolute smooth texture tone and a thong uh, bikini male armor made of turquoise and sapphire and silver, and the, the chick is going around there swinging the Buster Sword around. And people are like, why are we looking at PlayStation streamers again? These these PC modders, man, they're just tearing it up. PC modders are literally gods in their own right. PlayStation PlayStation players, console players, they're they're not god on there, and that's the thing that pushes me towards PC. I want to be god. I really want to be God. Every man wants to be God at some point. I want to be God. If I want to manipulate and change the game a little bit, I, as if I reach out there with my hand and just change the rules, I should be allowed to do that. With PlayStation, they won't do it. Oh, we'll give you mods, but they won't be very impressive. 
sucks, sucks ass. Yes, PlayStation should be scared. Because they have alienated, they've been doing everything they can to alienate their Japanese game market out of in, out of existence. And now, Xbox has walked in there and taken one of the biggest console exclusives off of their platform. Their only hope now is Naughty Dog and Sucker Punch and maybe CD Projekt Red. Sucker Punch probably will work with them until Xbox comes along and offers them more money. And PlayStation is going to take a hit. PlayStation is going to have to get back to PlayStation 1 era. Where they had Duke Nukem and uh, Tenchu 2 Stealth Assassins where Ayame gets the sexy stealth armor with a thong back. And everyone was like, ooh, that shit's awesome. We need more of that. Uh, you're gonna, they're going to have to compromise somewhere. Doubt they will. But eventually, they'll, they'll be forced to compromise. Microsoft has doubled down on PC support in recent years, bringing all of its first-party games to the PC, beefing up Windows 10 Game Bar, rolling out Steam support, and even debuting fantastic Xbox Game Pass for PC. There's no reason to expect Bethesda games to become an Xbox console exclusives moving forward. Heck, this might even spell doom for the, atro for the atrocious Bethesda launcher that can't come soon enough. And, and that's the thing. Bethesda has been, like I said, with, with just the modding in what's happened, I'm, I'm willing to bet that Bethesda made this decision because if you look at Xbox, Xbox has said, we're going to allow you to mod your games as much as you want. You're a damned adult and we're going to let you do it how you want to do it. You want to mod your games to the point where every chick looks like a stripper and every guy looks like Captain America walking around. You want to make it look like something out of Conan the Barbarian or some sort of classic... Or something out of out of the... Uh, who is the guy that does the fantasy art where the chicks are, are they in the skimpiest outfits imaginable but they're fighting all these monsters and everything? I can't remember his name. By the way... That you can do that. Xbox is do Xbox is probably I'm pretty sure part of their deal with Bethesda was we're gonna give you creative freedom if you sell to us. Okay? But Bethesda's gonna have creative freedom. We're gonna buy it. And I'm quite certain the people at Bethesda works are gonna be like, Oh my god, we have creative freedom. We can do what we want. We don't have to cover everything. We don't have to adhere to these strict social justice rules that PlayStation has been enforcing on everyone. We can now we can now produce. I mean, that they might actually do a Bethesda launcher for P, for Xbox. Or they might not. Xbox already allows mods. Any mods you can get on PC if the if they allow the game to be modded, hey, you can mod the hell out of it. I mean, you can put whatever mods you want on there. And some and just in terms of Skyrim, there are mods that add entire new areas of the map on PC. You can't get this stuff on on PlayStation because PlayStation they want to curate everything. They don't want anything on there that will that will insult the social justice crowd led by Anita Sarkeesian in games. Nobody gives a shit. You're going to lose money. That's what's going to happen. It's it's going to be mass losses of money. Xbox has been on a buying spree in recent months, desperate to silence those, but where are the game's criticisms? Well, they're about to have the games, my friends. We found the games. They, were in, they found some games. They're going to put them on the Xbox. Since 2018, the Xbox division has gobbled up in Excel, Wasteland, Obsidian, Fallout New Vegas, Outer Worlds, ooh, Ninja Theory, Hellblade, Senzu Sacrifice, Playground Games for Forza. Wow, damn. damn. Double Fine, Psychonauts, and Compulsion Games, We Happy Few. It's an all-star lineup of developers whittling away on Xbox and Windows 10 games now. In other words, Xbox, they've got the gameplay down plat. They've probably perfected the, the new Xbox X, and they have the PC the Xbox Pass that's just gonna sound that just sounds amazing. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Xbox Pass is, it's basically not just backward compatibility, but I've called it forward compatibility before. In that any game you buy now on Xbox, you get it for free on PC. And vice versa. 
you have forward and backward compatibility, basically. You buy it on Xbox, hey, guess what? Uh, you get it for free over on PC. It's, it's, it's not a big deal, okay? It's awesome. Uh, PlayStation can't even figure out backward compatibility anymore. They, they don't know how to do it. They can't put old PlayStation... And here's the thing. PlayStation has a massive roster of games. If you were to go in there and get PlayStation 1 games coming out, I mean, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, things like that, Duke Nukem, Tenchu 2 Stealth Assassins, and get those older games for the older generation that's in there, you could pro you'd have a really good roster of games for PlayStation to sell on. PlayStation can't do that anymore. They can't install backward compatibility. All of your old PlayStation 4 games will not work on PlayStation 5 because PlayStation is money hungry and they want you to buy all their PlayStation 5 games and have to upgrade your entire library. Whereas Xbox is saying, hey, buy it here, get a free one for your PC if you ever upgrade. Basically, Xbox is going into, uh, and, and this it's really smart, PlayStation's going somewhere else. I don't know what their plan is. They're trying to be a console-exclusive market. Xbox has realized that, and this is something a lot of people need to understand, with PC parts becoming cheaper all the time, and with a huge roster of games that are out there, you can build a kick-ass PC and play some classic games pretty efficiently. I mean, it's, it's and, and for a tiny amount of money. For two grand, you can start up your own gaming PC, and you'll have... All this time, all, all all these graphic cards. I mean, I'm not even sure all of it. I'm still looking into the whole PC thing. I mean, I've I've decided to do this, and now I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm I'm pouring through all of the books at Hogwarts, basically trying to learn wizardry. In my opinion, <laughs> it's funny and it's funny uh, seeing that. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah. But when you consider Xbox is going into the I want to call it the introduction market to gaming. In that, instead of going, you know, full, instead of just coming out with a PC, like an Xbox PC, they're going, okay, we're going to produce a console that you can afford. It's going to be cheaper than PlayStation, promise you that. And then what we're going to do is, we're also going to give you your games on PC for free, so that if you decide to go from being a console pleb to ah oh, PC God Master Race, you have a whole library of games once you get that PC built. They're entry level gaming. It's like back. It's like when you play um, Airsoft. Airsoft. There's a super cheap version of Airsoft guns. They're like clear plastic, no dies, and they're they're built that way not to look pretty. They're built that way because they're super cheap and don't have a die in them. They're just straight clear acrylic, pretty much, or clear plastic. They're done that way because these gun, those mar those uh, airsoft guns are usually like ten, twenty bucks. They're usually spring powered. They're a cheap airsoft gun to get you started. Once you're done, then you may eventually upgrade to an AEG. You might buy a G36 electric gun to start, you know, go out there and mowing people down. You may go to a higher powered spring uh, bolt action sniper rifle. It's your choice. Your, your choice. You get a choice in that. But you have to get involved in the sport. And in order to get involved in the sport, you have to buy something cheap first. Xbox is doing the same thing. They're becoming the BIC of gaming consoles. And it's, it's, a, it's a good marketing strategy. Because with a cheaper PC, mom and dad's, or the cheaper console, mom and dad, grandma's all going to come out there. They're not worried about graphics they're not worried about production a lot of console playstation guys got to realize this grandma and grandpa are not worried about how much you're doing they don't care at how powerful the playstation is what they're going to worry about is the playstation is going to be about 500 something bucks and xbox is going to be 400 something bucks and you know what with the xbox you get done and you go to the store and the guy behind the counter says well you know they also have xbox pass what's that uh, any game your kid buys on this, they get automatically for free on PC if it's available for PC. Well, that's saving money. Grandma and Grandpa are penny pinchers. Kid needs to learn the value of a dollar. That's how they're going to do this. But Xbox is going to cream 
PlayStation this year. PlayStation has sat on top and they've gotten complacent and they're going to get wrecked. Now, everyone tells me, ask, is probably asking the question, what about Nintendo? Where's Nintendo stand on this? Nintendo's been developing their own individual market for a long time. They have comp- they're, they're so powerful right now that they have reached a point where they said, yeah, you know what, we're not even going to worry about Xbox and PlayStation. We're just going to build games to be games. You want to know the difference between PlayStation and Nintendo Switch? Look at the difference. There were two creators that came out. One was Neil Druckmann for PlayStation, who had built The Last of Us Part Two. The other one, I can't remember his name, and I'm afraid to try and pronounce it because I'm afraid I'm going to call him a whole bunch of slurs in Japanese. But Neil Druckmann said, fun is not a term we use around here. The other guy in Japan said, if it's not fun, it's not a game. That's the difference. They're going out there and producing stuff that people want to play. And if they can get their hands on anything else from anyone else, oh yeah, they'll incorporate it into the Switch and you can have fun with it. Nintendo doesn't care about censorship. They're going to do what they want and they're going to produce games at a Japanese level because that's what's always worked. Xbox is probably going to break into the Asian market here before long. They're going to get anime games. They're going to get Japanese games. They're going to get those games because PlayStation is going to censor the crap out of it and it's not going to sell on PlayStation. And then Xbox is going to come along and say, hey, we don't care if we show tits and ass. We sell to adults. And they're going to get all the... Xbox is going to wreck them. Okay? And to chew on this Fallout Fanatics, Xbox owns both Bethesda and Obsidian now. Could Fallout... Oh, you son of a bitch. Stupid ads. And this, this is the thing really right here. Could Fallout New Vegas 2 be in our future? I very much hope so. Honestly, if Xbox X... Were to, if they wanted to destroy PlayStation right now, declare that in the future they have placed Fallout New Vegas 2 as a future as a future item exclusive to Xbox and PC, and watch PlayStation squirm. Fallout New Vegas was probably the best Fallout game ever made in term in, in the Bethesda category, mind you. Love that game. Played it religiously. My main character on there was a dude named Dynamite Joe who fought with nothing but dynamite. I completed the game with nothing but dynamite. It was easier than it sounds. <laughs> you just blow everything to hell. The shop, what was it with, uh, what's her name? Cheyenne, what's her face? You have to go into the, uh, to the energy weapon shop and you got to fight the silvers, the silver hands. Man, there was way, there was ray guns and plasma rifles flying everywhere when I got done. I would love to have Fallout New Vegas done in Fallout 4 graphics, but with improved gameplay. That would be awesome. I think it's going to happen. Anyway, folks, tell me what you think about uh, Bethesda being bought up by Xbox. Is it a good thing? Uh, do you have a problem with it? Do you think it's bad, or do you think this is the greatest thing to have happened. Do you think this is a PlayStation killer or somehow PlayStation will come out of it? I want to know what y'all think about it in the comments. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and also share because that I don't know where people are coming from on this channel. I've checked my analytics and you guys are coming from somewhere. It's not from YouTube's recommended. I, there's like a small number of people. Y'all coming from somewhere else. I don't know if someone's sharing the videos constantly. That's my theory. But if more people share, I want to get to about 150 subscribers if possible and jack the views up. Make this channel great, and I'll be the voice of you guys, the fans. Anyway, I am the last Raider. Stay safe, stay frosty. Almost forgot my intro there. Stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.